Good morning. So I have more time now. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through everybody in the lab. It's a great pleasure to be here. It's also very painful because I have to pick three things to present to you in three minutes. Uh, that's what I tried to do. So uh, clearly we're not going to cover everything, but um, we'll be here during the day. And if you're interested, there'll be also a site visit tomorrow to uh, MGH. So uh, we can talk more about any of these topics. Um, uh, in a nutshell, we, um, our lab works in, so we have two hats. One is uh, a research lab. On the other hand, we're all, I'm also director of the PET core, which involves cyclotron, radiochemistry, radiopharmacy. So there's a clinical side and a research side. On the research side, what we're interested in is anything basically that has to do with PET, PET MR, PET CT, or SPEC CT or SPEC MR. That should take care of all of it. And uh, in more particular, we do a lot of, um, we're doing a lot of development in PET MR. This is a very exciting um, field that started only a few years ago, and I'll show you some of the work that uh, we're doing there. Uh, we're doing a lot of work in iterative reconstruction because that affects any of the modality, reconstruction modalities. Uh, we do a lot of dual tracer imaging, whether it's PET or SPECT, and we do a lot of monitoring for therapy, whether it's proton or radiation. So here's three examples. Uh, we're still in the yellow, that's good. Uh, the first one is uh, using PET for monitoring therapy, and the idea here is that uh, when you're treating patients with proton therapy, you generate by proton-neutron interactions radioactivity without injecting the patient. That's the nice thing about it. You don't inject anything and you can image the patient. The problem is two minutes later, you have not much signal left. So you need to bring the PET scanner to the therapy room and that's what we did. Here's an example of the, oh, do we have a pointer? No, we don't have a pointer. Uh, that's gonna cost you yeah, one minute. Yeah, that's right. So Right, right here is okay, so we, uh, we bring in the PET scanner into the proton therapy room, that's the nozzle. And then this is an example to show you, uh, we ha we're, we're funded to do a preliminary study in 60 patients. This will show you the treatment results that you can see on PET and that you would see if you were to wait and take the patient to another room and you see the loss of signal. Interestingly, this was a precursor for the MI plus vision because one of the people who worked on this is a postdoc that we hired from Spain, from uh, the group who's here today. So uh, that was very interesting. I was thinking about that. Uh, the other application I'm gonna show you is work we're doing in PETAMAR. And the idea here is that we believe that PETAMAR is more than the sum of the parts because the two modalities are acquired at the same time. Unlike in PET-CT where you acquire a PET and then a CT, you're acquiring both at the same time and therefore you could model a lot of things jointly from the PET and the MR. The example I'm showing you here is for motion, but actually you could, we, we're applying this for many things. Here's an example of, uh, well, you can tell this is a monkey, uh, a primate, not a human, but uh, that's the image you get today in the clinic. I want you to concentrate on these lesions here. That's the image you can get with a PET-MR when you model the motion from the MR. And that's the best you could do if you were to do gating today on a PET CT. And I'll let you just judge about that. But that is something we can use now for kinetic modeling. We can use the input function from the MR, model the kinetic parameters from the PET while using some constraints from the MR. So any of these uh, are an open field, really, because um, none of this has been explored yet. The third example I'm going to show you is uh, in kinetic modeling. And this is one of the areas where we do a lot of work. Uh, I'm done. Uh, my name is, <laughs> so uh, this is an example just to show you some of the work we're doing where we're estimating directly the kinetic parameters from the uh, sinograms without doing any reconstruction. This is what you would do today on a regular camera. Uh, those are your kinetic parameters, and that's the variance on your estimates, the noise in your images. This is what we can do today, all right? And I want you to compare these. Those are at two different doses. All right, that's 1.2 millicurie injection. Here's another example now in a real patient. Now. What we're showing you here is 30 minutes. That's the conventional acquisition here with the lesion here. That's five minutes, six times less. So you can pick your choose. You can image either less or inject less. And here's our wish list. We're looking for people to uh, collaborate with on any of these topics. And with that, I will... I'll <laughs>